Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Hi Mathematics and today we have really interesting challenge x plus y equal to 8, x y equal to 48 and we need to find our x and y. Let's do this. First of all, let's uh, let's rewrite our expression, our first equation right here. So what do we have as a result? We have x plus y equal to 8. This is our expression, this is our first equation. But let's raise both sides, so let's square both sides. Let's raise both sides to the second power. So let's do this. So we have right here x plus y we have right here to the second power equal to 8 to the second power. Basically, 8, 8 squared equal to 64, and we can easily raise this to the second power, so it's not like a hard question for us. So from here we have x squared, x squared plus 2xy and plus y squared equal to 64. Really great. And right now, xy equal to 48. Yeah, we can easily plug in this xy from this expression to this one. So as a result, we have x squared plus 2 times 48 equal to 96. And let's write, first of all, this y squared and the next one. Let's write 96. So plus 96 equal to 64. And right now, take a look closely what do we have right here. Let's plug in this uh, constant from left side to right side. Let's, fa uh, let's bring this constant from left to right. As a result, we have x squared plus y square equal to 64 minus 96. And it looks like 64 minus 96 equal to minus 32. So the sum of two positive values, this is 100% positive values because we are talking about squares, x square plus y square, doesn't matter, x can be negative, y can be negative. As a result, all the time we have positive x, y, x square, positive next square, uh, y square, and as a result, the sum of this expression cannot be negative value. So as a result, we are talking about complex solutions. So right here, we don't have like no real, no real solutions, no real solution. As a result, we are talking about complex solutions. So let's do this right now. How can we find our complex complex load. First of all, this is like a, a, a school question. It's not like a hard question because we are talking about uh, a basic uh, plugin in right here. We're going to plug in from the first equation, we're going to plug in the value to the second one. It's not like a tricky method right here, all known method. So x plus y equal to 8. From here, we can easily factor our y. So y equal to 8 minus, we have right here, x, okay? So as a result, we're going to plug in this y equal to 8 minus x into this second equation. This is like our school uh, school challenge, I guess, but let's do this. Okay, so we have right here, what do we have? 8 minus x at first, because x, y, so 8 minus x times y equal to 48. And this is our next step. Right now, it looks like a quadratic equation right here. Oh, that's right, right here we have x, yeah, we have right here x. Yeah, we have because it, it's not like we can't solve this challenge with the y right here, but uh, everything is great, but I want to rewrite this challenge once more. So we have 8 minus x, okay, times x equal to 48. Okay, really great. This is a quadratic equation, a quadratic equation, basic quadratic equation, because when we multiply all of the things, we have 8x minus x square equal to, equal to 48. Right now, let's change an order a little bit. Let's let's write a classic order because ax squared plus bx plus c. Right here, we have a chaotic randomly order. So first of all, let's write our our x square at first. What do we have right here? X square, but with the minus sign, minus x square. The next thing, plus 8x. And I guess minus 48 because we're bringing this from our right side to left side. Minus 48 equal to zero. Right now let's multiply both side by minus one because we like don't need this minus right here. We prefer with the plus sign. Multiplying both side by minus one. As a result we have x square minus 8x and plus 48. Really great. This is a quadratic equation so right here we will find our roots and we already know that we have right here we are talking about complex roots. So this is like for further information we know that this is a complex root but doesn't matter we need to find it so let's do this. First of all, let's find our discriminant, okay? So our discriminant to this challenge equal to b square minus 4ac, the all-known formula, b square minus 4ac. Let's plug in all of the, all of the things right here. Minus 8 square minus 4 times 1 times 48. And right now we're going to tell that this is a complex, uh, complex uh, solutions right here because discriminant is negative. We have 64 minus 192. So right here we have minus 128. 
complex a complex root. Let's plug in all of the thing into into all known formula right here. So x first and second equal to we have right here minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a, which is equal to minus b we have right here eight plus minus square root of minus one hundred twenty eight and all over to a all over all over two. Really great. Right now, let's simplify a little bit our 128. Not like simplify. Let's express it in another way because we need to apply a square root right here. We need to simplify this. We need to write our complex unit. This is equal to 8 plus minus square root of 128. This is over 64 times 2. So we have 64 times 2 and times minus 1 because we still have this minus one. And there is a square root property when we have a product of a lot of like values, expression inside parentheses, of course, yeah? We can easily split the square root, so we can consider this as square root of 64 times square root of two and times square root of minus one, okay? So equal to eight plus minus square root of 64, this is our eight, eight square root of, of two, yeah, and times I, this is our complex unit, this is our i, and all over, all over 2. Right now, the final step, let's divide our numerator by 2, because we have 2, this is our common denominator, we can also divide 8 by 2, and this expression by 2. So as a result, 4 plus minus 4i square root of 2. This is our x first and x second, so let's write our answer, x first and second, equal to 4 plus minus 4i square root of 2. But we are talking about we need to find our i. We need to find our y from here. So let's find, let's split our, our solutions. Okay. So x first and x second, we know about it, but we also need to know about, about y. From the beginning, we know that uh, y equal to 8 minus x. Okay. And we also know that x second equal to 4 minus 4i square root of 2. And x first right here equal to 4 plus 4i square root of 2. Okay, so right now let's plug in everything that we know into this formula. So y equal to 8 minus x equal to, let's go with x second, for example, this is absolutely, uh, it changed nothing for us, so 8 minus this x second. 4 minus 4i square root of 2. So y equal to 8 minus 4 plus for i square root of 2. From here, our y equal to, right here we have 4, yeah? 4 plus 4i square root of 2. This is our y second, of course, yeah? And right now, the same thing with y first. So y first equal to 8 minus x, 8 minus this expression, so 8 minus 4 plus 4i square root of 2. Yeah, and right here we have absolutely the same thing, but with the minus sign. Yep, yeah, so we have right here 4 minus 4i square root of 2. This is our answer to this challenge. So let's write our final answer right here. Okay, so our answer. If you're talking about pairs of, of solutions right here, if you're talking about the pairs x first, let's go with x first, y first, equal to... We can write here x first 4 plus 4i square root of 2 and the second 4 minus 4i square root of 2. And if you're talking about the second pair of solution, we can write here x second y second equal to 4 minus 4i square root of 2 and 4 plus 4i square root of 2. But with one really interesting note for me, these are complex solutions complex complex pairs. Uh, in the beginning we proved that right here we don't have like no real solutions. The sum of two squares never equal to minus a minus value right here. So no real solutions, only complex. Complex solution is very basic. It's very basic because this is a quadratic equation with discriminant with x first and x second. So nothing hard. We don't need like to to find our to factor our question. This is very basic, very basic solution. So we can also write your question down into the comment section. There is another method in this challenge, the faster one. If you're talking about this quadratic equation, there is another faster method. So if you're interested in this, you can also find this method and you can also write your your thoughts, write your your solution down into the comment section. I hope I think it will be really interesting to read your method, maybe a lot of teachers, a lot of students want to see uh, the second method according to this quadratic equation. There is another
other method, it will be really interesting to read about it. This is my explanation to this challenge. I hope you learned something new, maybe a little bit, maybe more. It depends depends on yourself, how, how you understand my explanation. I try my best, I give my everything that I that I uh, sold it before, of course, and I give everything. I wanted you to understand this understandable, I guess, explanation, because this is a quadratic equation, and I hope every student understand this part, every student understand this explanation. So thank you for your time, have a great day, write your thoughts, write your suggestion down into the comment section. Also, thank you for your support, thank you for supporting my videos, thank you for supporting my channel, and see you in the next videos, and have a great day.